Hey folks, how you going? Today I'm just kind of a quick yarn to you guys about batteries. DGI Phantom Professional. They recommend that every 20 hours or so you discharge them fully. I've seen a few guys reckon that one way to do it is to plug them into your drone and leave your drone motors running for a long time. Uh, once the drones actually run flat, it will still take you I haven't even tested it, but I hate to think how long you leave these free free willing for until your battery is completely dead. So I recommend against doing that with your with your drones. You're going to burn out your your brushless motors. So I just wanted to give a quick review about something I picked up recently, the Adaptom 3 SE, made by a mob called Telesin. It's specifically designed for the Phantom 3 um, standard, advanced, or professional. So, if you want to have a look at your battery status, we'll just turn everything on here for you. Press one, two, three, four. Get them up and running. So the easiest way to see what's going on with your battery, how much power you've got, how many times it's been charged, is is to simply click on your battery on your DG, DJI Go app. And it'll actually tell you how many times your battery has been charged. I'll just zoom in for you guys here so you can see what's going on. So, what we're looking at here, this is actually a new battery got in there. It hasn't been charged at all yet. It's showing brand new, which is interesting. So what I might do is just kill that. I will plug in my battery that has been charged a number of times so you guys can see what the hell I'm talking about. It's giving me a satellite error, it's okay, warming up. 95% on the battery. So this battery's been charged 18 times. And it's got the remaining power of 421 milliamp hours. Total capacity quadruple 4, 23 degrees temp, and settings for the battery show voltage on the screen. Now I've got mine set to discharge after 10 days, which is the maximum. So what that means is after 10 days, the battery will actually discharge itself. Um, in which case, it actually does get a little bit warm. So I'm going to show you guys another video. Um, what I've got to Look after the battery in case something terrible happens and she catches fire. So I'll review that shortly. Now back to the battery. So we've seen this one's got uh, still has 30, still has uh, this one's three quarters full. It's nearly, nearly chockers. So say you've taken your drone out, she's been for a fly, it's up to its 20 hours of, of use, and you think no, I want to discharge this battery fully. What's the best way to do it without damaging my quadcopter? I shall turn that off. Let's put that aside. So, what I've done and purchased is a, a Telesin Daptom 3SE RC402. It's from uh, xcsource.com. I'll put a link in the uh, description for you guys. Uh, it's specifically designed for use with DJI Phantom 3 batteries, so either one of the three Phantom 3s. So what you do is simply... And what you can actually do with this, there's a number of things besides drain the battery using the globe. So you get yourself a user guide in here, tells you a bit about it. You might need some magnifying glasses to read them, but... Gives you some information about what to do, what not to do. Half of it's in Chinese, funnily enough. You get your adapter. Discharge 15.2 volts, full discharge. So you can either discharge it to a certain amount or fully. So what you actually do is you grab your device here, slide it up into the battery, like so. Okay. Now you don't have to run the globe, it comes with a globe which you push into this USB connector here. 
you don't actually try not to touch the glass with your fingers or it could end up with some trouble she might blow so you just slide them in the hole there push them in I'll use the paper to push it in so all this does it's pretty basic really is um discharges the battery by use of a globe okay So you turn that on, as you turn the quadcopter on, you select full discharge, and there you have it. Sits there and discharges it using uh, the globe. I'm not sure how long it takes, I'm obviously not going to discharge it now, it's full, it will probably stay lit up for the next day or two. Okay, so I'll just turn it back off again. All right. So if you want you can actually put anything in, into this USB here, you can put your phone in, your tablet or whatever, but it's actually a really cool device for draining the last bit of power out of your DJI battery so that you get maximum use. So they recommend every 20 hours you, um, you discharge it fully and then give it a full charge up again. That way you'll find that it lasts longer, it charges quicker and you'll get more life out of that purchasing a new one. Which is good because uh, these, as you know, they're worth about 230 odd dollars. Okay, so the longer you look after these, the more flight time you have, and the more fun you're going to have. So there you have it, folks. Telesin. I'll put a link in the description of uh, where this came from. Uh, it's about 15 dollars, so it's pretty reasonably priced. Um, does a really good job. Sorry for knocking the camera. Does a really good job and a good bit of kit for your DJI gear and I'm sure that there's similar products available for the Mavic and other DJI products okay no worries guys thanks for watching I hope I've been some help for you and uh, happy flying catch you later on